When you first open this program, Python, uh, within Start All Programs, um, the GUI version, the GUI uh, program, this is what you see, the Python shell. If I were to type in print, hello world, and press enter, it would say hello world, I'm interacting. Congratulations, you created your first program. Now if I were to say x is equals to 5, and then I print x, Notice how there's no double quotes here. This means that we're treating this as an actual variable. The variable here uh, contains the, the value 5. Can you guess what it's going to print? Enter. It's going to print 5. Now, um, I could print 1 plus 2. I could print 4 minus 2, which would be 2. And I can do uh, numerous other things as well. I could do print 2 star 5, which means 2 times 5, which is equals to 10. And I could also go uh, print 10 divided by 2. The slash is a divide, which is 5. And let me try something else. Let me try 10 divided by 3. Now this is interesting. Python here is chopping off the decimals. So 10 divided by 3 should be 3.3333. So let's try something else. Let me try uh, 2 divided by 3, 0. Hmm, that's strange. We expect uh, the answer to be 0 0.66666, but Python here just chops off or truncates the decimals. So that's something to keep and be aware of when we're using this uh, slash division sign. Now, what about the uh, powers? I'm going to say 2 star star 3. That means exponents. 2 to the exponent 3, which is 2 times 2 times 2, which is equals to 8. So here we understand uh, some basic math uh, operators. The plus sign, the minus sign, the multiply sign, the divide sign. But be careful, division here in Python chops off or truncates all the decimals. So 1.9999 is the same thing as 1. All right, so how can we program more freely? To program more freely, rather than going line by line, we go File, New Window. And once you're in the File, New Window, we're able to, once again, set up our variables. For example, if I say variable AAA is equals to 7, and if I say print AAA, can you guess what's going to happen? So I'm just going to save this project. Let me just save it to my desktop as AAA.py. And I'm going to go to Run Module. By the way, when you're saving, make sure you, you, uh, make sure you actually include the, the extension .py. Uh, that way, uh, that your computer will recognize that it is a Python file and be able to use the pro appropriate program to open up your file. All right, so anyways, let's go to Run, Run Module, and uh, you can see that the answer is 7, which is great. Let me just uh, close that. I pressed Alt F4, or you can even click on the X button on the top right corner to close that window. So let's try something else. Let's try AAA plus 3. Can you guess what's going to happen? I'm going to save this. I'm going to go to Run, Run Module, and it's going to print out 10. So we can actually add and do some basic math uh, with this uh, code here. And uh, let's try something else. Let's try uh, BBB is equals to 2. And let's try print AAA minus BBB. Can you guess what the output's going to be? So let's save this and run it. And what do we have? We have 7 minus 2. So run the module, and we get the answer is 5. Great. So congratulations. You now have some more practice with some basic um, operators, the plus sign, the minus sign, multiply, divide, power, variables as well. So when you think about variables, try to think of it as this variable here. AAA or whatever you want to call it is assigned the value of 7. So the value 7 gets assigned into uh, ver the variable AAA. Uh, think of variable AAA as, as a, some kind of storage container in, in, in the computer's memory. The equal sign is actually assigning the number 7 and sticking that number 7 into variable AAA. So variable AAA retains that value. Alright, good job.